So you're ready to convert your Blu-ray media to digital format, but don't quite know the best method of making this happen. No worries. One simple solution is the answer to your burning question. All you have to do is make an MKV with Make MKV. Make MKV has become the go-to solution for ripping a one by one of your personal Blu-ray media. It uses the popular HD video format, MKV, and the setup is pretty straightforward. Of course, you will need a Blu-ray drive to use this program. Make MKV can also rip DVDs as well. Now there are a few things that you should know before we get started. As you may already know, 4K Blu-rays fall under the Ultra HD standard, which use new media players for the format. With that being said, you may be surprised to know that some old Blu-ray players had the ability to rip the Ultra HD standard. I have put a link to these drives in the description box below. Secondly, if you enjoy the menu format that the DVD ISO can provide, there is a different method you will have to take in order to make this happen with MKV. I'll be doing a separate video for this. For now, I just want to focus on ripping the basic video from a Blu-ray. Now let's get started. You can grab the program from the official website makemkv.com. I'll be using the Windows version for this example. Once you have installed the program, start it up and we will look at one initial setting. For the most part, you will not need to change any of these settings outside of the language tab where you may have a preferred language you'd like to have. This will help alleviate additional steps that we'll have to take later. Hit apply and OK to back out of the setup menu. Next we'll click on the Blu-ray drive icon. This will load up the Blu-ray's information. As you can see, several titles are available for the Blu-ray. This consists of menu items, the main feature, and additional bonus footage. In most cases, the title's data size will clue us into the main feature. Clicking the arrow button next to the title will give us a drop-down menu. As you may already notice, there are several audio tracks and subtitles to choose from. Because I set up the initial language settings, many of them have been unchecked helping us save some time with this process. It is good to look through each title to make sure the audio tracks and subtitles you want from the movie are checked. Unchecking certain features does help in saving space, but I do want to have the DTS HD surround sound codec, so I will check this and the additional Dolby Digital English track as well. There are two main feature tracks on this disc, and so I'll make sure that both are set up the same. Because I don't know which track I prefer, I'll leave both of them checked. Make MKV will rip them into separate files so you can always erase what you don't want. I'll look through the remaining titles making sure all my preferred audio tracks are checked. Once I have what I want, I will look over to the output folder. A predefined target has been set, and I'm fine with this, so I will click the Make MKV option. This will bring up a warning option asking if you want to create the casino folder. I'll say yes and the program will proceed to rip the video to my hard drive. Once it is complete, I'll go to the destination to make sure everything ripped properly. The Windows Media Player does not support the MKV format, so you'll want to download VLC Player to play the video file. Things seem to be in working order, so now it's just taking some time to check over each video and decide which ones I want to keep. And that is all there is to it. You can use a program like Handbrake to convert the video to a different format. I will have a walkthrough of this program not too long after this video. For now, this is the core, your entertainment techie, signing out.